could power an entire school just walking to class. Or an entire hospital, just doctors walking from room to room. Now what if we could power an entire city? We knew we could invent something to harness this energy, and this is what we did. Well, it actually started in the eighth grade. We all were friends. We knew we worked well together. We had this idea of a format that could harness the kinetic energy of people's footsteps. I don't, I don't think I realized the scope of what they were doing. Our project works using the principles of electromagnetic induction. When a magnet passes through a coil, it creates a, a flow of, of electrons. Which creates an electric current, which we harness. And each coil is then hooked up to a capacitor. Which is essentially the same thing as a battery, but it's able to be recharged and stored. When we were building our first prototypes, we knew we needed raw materials, just to get something from paper onto like a 3D thing that we can look at. The biggest thing was trying to get the steps so that it wasn't as dramatic. Our first one was this one. Obviously it's very tall, it's about 9 centimeters, and it's just not very practical to be put in the mat. So we decided to look for some outside help. Uh, they had originally called me on the phone one day and asked me a few questions about uh, an idea they had. John Gunn, he's a very good engineer. Because of his job, he has the resources that we needed. I would get uh, phone calls or text messages from them about when can we get together, uh, I, I, you know, they've tried something. We said, you know, guys, we're going to meet every day at lunch and we're going to put a solid 45 minutes of work into this project. Uh, a lot of Friday nights we'd be in his garage testing and building and working till the late night. With his help, we uh, created this much more realistic version of a cell that can be placed into a mat. It was like, oh, this is all great, but what are we going to power? For the longest time, we were just going to power a refrigerator. We really want to have a global impact. So we thought that a SteriPim was a great thing. It's using UVC radiation to kill bacteria in drinking water. Well, we felt that would be a very practical system that could be boxed up as a kit and uh, shipped uh, you know, to a third world country to use. You know, children have to walk miles just to the cleanest water source. And, you know, that prohibits them from going to school and getting proper education. I think now I see it as being unstoppable. We ended the project with that in mind. We said, we're going to make something, we're going to invent something, we're going to build it, we're going to put it into use, we're going to help people. Yeah, that's going to, you know, overall help people.